Hello, my name is Eddie Topic. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here is your daily technical analysis of foreign exchange markets. I'll start with the euro against the dollar. A second bearish black crow yesterday and a second in a row bearish opening black marabozo as well. It was a continued follow-on lower from the breakdown from the recent cat's ears pattern over July to date period. In this particular instance of the pattern, I've been taking the combination of the 38.2% Fibonacci line of the March 2020 to January 2021 move at 116.94 and the neckline, currently 116.86, of the August to September 2020 move as a break area. Yesterday's move down was also a new low and low close, not seen since July last year. Anyway, back to the cat's ears pattern. On this pattern, we could see a potential move down to target X in the 114 and a half area. The other important strategic item is that rather late in the day, last week indeed, the market made a monthly key reversal down for September. All these strategic patterns and actions must now weigh in on this pat on this market. Overall, we're still nicely moving down in between the upper time, currently at 118.23, and the middle time, currently 114.52, of the January to May bearish Andrews picture, which has run the whole of 2021's action. So far today, yeah, either side of yesterday's close and holding under the 2019 high at 115.70. We don't really have that much support below until the 50% Fibonacci line of the March 2020 to April 2021 move at 114. 92. Cable, aka sterling against the US dollar. A bearish engulfing pattern yesterday, as after moving back up to the bottom of the recent sideways triangle formed over the late July downtrend, currently at 136.84, and the mid July uptrend, currently 136.48, prices seemingly rejected the move up and headed back down. This original move lower from the sideways triangle had an, an initial target X in the 134.90 area and a secondary target X1 in the 132.65 area. Now we've already achieved target X and as you'd expect the secondary target is harder to reach than the initial one. This move down has allowed the construction of a late July to mid-September bearish Andrews pitchfork. The market is currently in between the middle time below currently at 135.11 and the upper tine above, currently 137.5. Finally, I have droned on interminably about the longer term whole of the 2021 double top pattern, the Adam and Eve type one. I thought it was becoming more obscure as time moved on and prices didn't. However, this significant move down has revitalized that idea and we now have some potential targets for this pattern. Initial target X2 would be in the 133.60 area with a secondary target X3 in a 131.10 area. As you would expect, the secondary target would be the harder one to achieve. So far today, a lower open and then a move back up, but we still have quite a way to go to reach up to the break line combination of the sideways triangle above. Euro sterling. An indecisive spinning top yesterday with a lower tail. It seems the follow-on lower from last week's outside week has seemingly run its course and some indecision has crept in now as prices approach the March low at 84.70. I'm having doubts about the recently highlighted large right angle broadening formation formed since late May. It has been reinvigorated as an idea but the moves up and down over July to September but it is now looking a bit tired as an idea. Now for guidance, the pattern is made up from the flat April 2020 low at 86.69 and the lower channel line currently 83.49 of the broken May to August bear channel. So far today, a lower open but no follow through lower and prices are holding around yesterday's close. US dollar against the Indian rupee. A bullish engulfing pattern and bullish opening white marabozo. The former was not that difficult as the previous session was an indecisive doji cross. The move up did pierce the overhead downtrend and trend line combination of the April 2020 to date downtrend currently at 74.90 and the April 2020 to date sideways triangle. Now here's the rub. You could look at this original downtrend as the upper trend line 
or you could look at the more recent April 2021 to date downtrend currently at 74.53 as the upper trend line. Right now it's unclear as to which is dominant as the former has pierced yesterday, was pierced yesterday, but the latter has had a first clear close over yesterday. What this has also done is overtly threaten the key recently drawn small late August to September based bullish shift pitchfork. Uh, by closing clear over it. The upper tine currently at 74.59. Now if we fail to close back below this upper tine in the next few sessions then I will retire it. So far today a slightly lower open and an attempt back up testing the April 2020 to date downtrend. However prices have swiftly moved back down towards yesterday's close. US dollar against the Brazilian real. A third bullish white soldier yesterday, but also a possible shooting star pattern. Now, I'm not sure whether it is type 1 bearish or type 2 bullish. However, I do tend to favor the former a little over the latter right now. Overhead, we have two lesser Fibonacci lines at 550, 12 and 552, 91. But the main resistance will be the upper time, currently 559, 28, of the recent late July to late August bullish shift pitchfork. Meanwhile, below we have 250% Fibonacci lines as support, the May to June 2020 move at 5.39.28 and a 2021 move so far, um, that's at 5.38.46, plus the rising middle time currently at 5.39.95. Please continue keeping an eye on this bullish shift pitchfork, as it has performed so well, especially the middle time. Now this pitchfork is the indicator for the gentle bullish incentive has been evident here since the end of August. US dollar against the Mexican peso. A bear spike yesterday with a very long tongue on top and what can be seen as an indecisive spinning top acting around the lows. The market punched up over the 50% Fibonacci line of the 2021 move so far at 2058.49, the lesser Fibonacci line at 2060.62 and even the important March to date downtrend currently 2070 but failed obviously to close over any of them. The high yesterday came tantalizingly close to the initial target X in the 2089 third area for the June to date descending triangle on the top side. However, prices didn't quite make it. So I'll leave that for another day. For now, as well as the secondary target X1 in the 2021 uh, 23 and a half area. Now this once again severely threatens the idea of the main device used to direct this market lower in recent times and also its main recent attractor, the influential gently declining neckline of the February to March head and shoulders top currently at 1962.76. It is as I said recently, if we managed to close over the June high at 2074.80 then I think this neckline's role has just been retired. Wait and watch and see. So far today, a move lower as a follow on it seems to the best spike with the 50% Fibonacci line of the 2021 move acting as a cap right now. Thank you for listening. This short version of broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final bit.